Hello and welcome to We're Watches. This is Dark Season 2, Episode 5. So last episode, of course, we had the massive reveal that Adam is actually Jonas and just the consequences of that are just like mind boggling. What does that mean for the stranger and the relationships and Sigmundus as this society as a whole? If Jonas was the one who created it, you know, there's a lot going on there that I'm really excited to find out and see how the story advances here. And I was also wondering, you know, we have Adam and he's putting Jonas on this path to become him. And we still, as part of the story, through the story, we haven't seen a character make like a huge change to the timeline yet. We still don't know if in this show there is such thing as free will or is your path predetermined there is always the opportunity and the chance that uh, things can be changed and almost from the start we are living in this world that has been dictated by Sigmundus but it could also be Sigmundus was always going to do that anyway and they didn't have the free will to choose that anyway we haven't really seen something deviate from a timeline or something and I am wondering if maybe Jonas, the Jonas we are following, will somehow manage to deviate from becoming Adam somehow because so far Adam has been shown as almost evil and this antagonistic force. So like, is there an opportunity that our Jonas somehow breaks that cycle and won't become Adam? And then obviously the consequences of that is the timeline splinters and lots of things can happen from there. And then just one other point before we start the episode, I was editing episode eight, I believe it was. And there's this moment where Mikkel in 86, he is looking at this painting and it is the same that is the tattoo on Noah's back. And there's this inkling in me thinking like, what if um, Mikkel somehow founded Sigmundus? You know, there is the assumption that is Adam slash Jonas who started it all, but we don't necessarily know if that is the case. And I don't know, it was just like, is there a chance that Mikkel slash Michael actually started it somehow? That's just like, you know, a wild theory that could be the case and just throwing the idea out there, I guess, see if it sticks. So before we jump into this, be sure to check out the Patreon page. Over there, you can find one week early access so you can get season two, episode six right now. You can also find polls so you can vote for what's next. And you can find a full length timer based version of this where you just sync up your own footage and you can watch along with me. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Oh, this dream again. This shared dream, which is interesting. Oh, is it gonna be Adam? That was almost like Adam scarring. Oh, he was seeing the, the straight, yeah, it's like the stranger version of Jonas. Oh, okay, being corrupted. <laughs> So yeah, of course, the stranger is have it, has that dream as well. It's recurring for all of them. What does that mean then? The portal like growing out of her. The thing is we haven't seen Marta in any other timelines really. Could something happen to her? You know, I theorize she could be um, Eve. If, Ad if it's Adam and Eve, she could be Eve. Was some of that slightly different there? We were seeing a bit more of Jonas and Marta there. I'm not sure, has the intro changed like a little bit there? And we just saw a bit of younger Noah too. Who's got red fingernails like that. I feel like that could have been Elizabeth, young Elizabeth. Strangers back again, yeah. Oh, there were actually some hands. Could that have been Marta? <laughs> Still here, yeah. Ist es nicht eigenartig, dass man die größte Abneigung ausgerechnet den Menschen entgegenbringt, die einem am ähnlichsten sind? Es ist wie Villains always so similar to the heroes, that they're the exact same person here potentially. Sieh dich an. Does he have more to show him? This setting is so weird as well, you know, it's so kind of classy, you've got paintings everywhere. Oh! Is he gonna throw him back into the right timeline? He's giving him the yellow jacket back. I'm guessing Adam must have a time machine here. 
Only two days remain. Okay, the stranger is leaving Hannah behind and leaving everyone else as well. Vatimaya. If the information is shared, there's such a chance for collaboration here. Seit Monaten redest du quasi nicht mit uns und jetzt willst du wissen, was wir denken? Guck dich doch mal um. No, they really do need to see this though. But we have sie auch verloren. Yeah, she actually feels remorseful. It looked like she was about to apologize. Du jetzt Bock hast zu reden, haben wir das noch lange nicht. Just say he's alive, that will change them, right? We were so close to them finding out, uh, and then the parents and the kids collaborating. Finde jemanden beim LKA, der diesen Klausen kennt. Was will der wirklich hier? The corruption taking advantage of that. Vielleicht ist er bei Martha. Wir sind nicht mehr zusammen. Die haben sich sicher versöhnt. Hast du angerufen? Yeah, she's almost left for dead in the cave. She's got that motherly instinct. She knows something's wrong. That hesitation, though. That's it, good. Look at that! He's looking into the camera, almost. I, I kind of want him to escape here. Is this a prison break? Look at the way he's standing and the focus on that key. Yeah, he's got. He's scheming. Look at him. Oh, if he gets out and finds Mikkel, that's going to be crazy. And of course, Egon's dying soon. Ooh. Don't know about his death. All of these bodies. Und das dritte. Mit dem Verlust des Lebens selbst. Okay. Das ist unausweichlich. So Adam is the loss of life. Du hast noch viel Zeit. Streng genommen hast du noch 99 Jahre. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Resorting to violence again. I thought he was just going to sneak it. Oh, there's a witness though. Ich wollte nur kurz sehen, wie es dir geht. Schon gut. Yeah, like he's still, he's not like in a hospital bed or anything, but you can, it kind of looks like he is struggling a little bit. Du tust ja so, als wäre ich schon fast tot. <laughs> Little does he know. Katerina? Katerina? Yeah. <laughs> she believes. Er war immer da. Direkt vor mir. Yeah, yeah. We're under your nose this entire time. Frau Nielsen. Sie hat dich von allen Menschen als letztes hier erwartet. Ja, yeah, so much going on. Wissen Sie, wer das ist? Nein, weiß ich nicht. That was a bit too stern of an answer. Could you tell that was a lie? She was a bit like too quick on the ball there, you know? Kennen Sie diese Person? Nein. Look at Klausen's face there. I think he knows that there's lies happening. Okay. Oh, he should introduce himself to the kids. That would be interesting. Yeah, what exactly has happened to Bartosz or Marta? Future-wise, he's looking at that photo very melancholic. Oh, that's in the opening, that same coin medallion. Is it a child and a father on there? There must be a way to change everything. That these things are different. A schlupfloch. Yeah, the promise of the loophole. It took years to find out how to find a way to this whole thing. But this is a fake, this is a lie. Trotzdem überweist er ihnen monatlich den gleichen Betrag. Dafür verlangt man normalerweise eine Gegenleistung. Also, was ist die Gegenleistung? She's not quick with her lies, you know. Ich verstehe nicht, dass wir hier zusammenhalten. Wir unterstützen uns. 
Yeah, you can say, you know, we were friends and he wants to continue supporting me after losing my son. Alexander hilft mir mit dem Geld. Das ist alles. Es geht doch nichts über eine gute Nachbarschaft. Look at that photo, yeah. Katerina folded out. Ich teilt nicht nur die Geheimnisse, sondern auch Geld und Bett. He knows about that. What she sensed. I was thinking that someone else was going to be there, like Noah. The bark's been stripped away a bit there. <laughs> okay. Weißt du, wer meine Eltern sind? Yeah, we haven't learned anything about her parents, only her grandparents. Er ist nicht mein richtiger Großvater. Ich bin nur bei ihm aufgewachsen. Okay, not by blood. Genauso wie sie mich benutzt hat, Peter und die anderen. Get show off the time machine. You know, this has definitely got me thinking about Charlotte's parents. Um, just like her jawline is very similar to Noah, like shape wise. She's got like kind of similar, kind of sharpish jawline. Are they related in any way? Could Noah be her father? You just can't d dismiss visual similarities because the casting is so good, you know? But then again, Bartosz has a quite sharp jawline, you know? Or if a time traveling Bartosz is her dad. Der menschliche Körper ist in der Lage, drei Tage ohne Flüssigkeitsabnahme auszukommen. I mean, they can survive up to three days, but. This is the Zeit Maschine! Oh, there we go. He might die sooner than that, you know, because he's bleeding and things. Then zeig uns, wie es funktioniert. Imagine they all just show up in 86 or something. That'd be great for Ulrich as well, like seeing all of his children again, not just Mikkel. Oh, I don't like him being untied here. If they're not close enough to him, he can just time travel out of here and escape, couldn't he? <laughs> oh my god, where are they going? But will they have enough juice to return as well? I love that transition. Is this the same actor? He looks slightly different. We haven't seen too much of this older bird though, have we? Es entspricht in vielen Teilen den Berechnungen von Englert, Braut und Hicks. Hicks. Das Gottesteilchen. Das Die Hicks Boson. Mach mit den Daten, was du willst. Aber lass meinen Namen und das Werk raus. Okay. You can't really keep it that separate. But yeah, how does he have left? Mikkel going to be here? We haven't seen much of Mikkel actually. You know, there's that whole thing with Inez, like with the sleeping pills and stuff. Can I help you? Oh, is he just going to run away? Are they going to have a talk? Mikkel recognize him at all? Oh, don't leave us hanging. God, the instant that I saw them together, I just, eyes watering. Hallo, Ines. Ina, hallo. Uns ist das Jod wieder alle. So she's been stealing them. What is his mental state like? Has he told, told him yet? Maybe you can show him the magic trick to show that it's him. You come here irgendwie bekannt vor. Is he maybe not gonna say anything? Yeah. Hey, für dich. Papa. 
Wir haben der Zeit den Krieg erklärt. Gott den Krieg erklärt. Okay. Wir erschaffen eine neue Welt. Ohne Zeit. Ohne Gott. Without time, how does that work? That just sounds like the erasure of all existence. Den Gott, der alles zusammenhält, dass dieser Gott nichts anderes ist als die Zeit selbst. God is time itself. Eine physikalische Gesetzmäßigkeit, mit der sich ebenso wenig verhandeln lässt wie mit dem eigenen Schicksal. Yes, time is something everyone's all bound to. Oh, modern day. Ten houses clock shop. I'm surprised, you know, it's just left sitting here. This condition. Obviously, Tanhouse wouldn't be around these days, but there is a chance he could have used the machine. Oh, I was kind of thinking it would be Clausen. Charlotte. She's keying all of this somehow from the notebook. Ich kann nicht mehr ändern, was du über mich denkst. Aber He's being very gentle with her here. Damit du mir nicht wieder genommen wirst. Genauso wenig wie deine Mutter. Was I right? Mother was taken from me. <laughs> Who was the mother then? Bring back where though? What timeline? Oh, Adam, he knows Adam's been manipulating him. In zwei Tagen. Aber ich weiß jetzt, was ich tun muss. Okay, is Noah making a turn here, making the shift? Ich muss Adam vernichten, damit alle leben. Ah, okay. Sie hat dich sehr geliebt. Das tut sie noch immer. Is she still about? <laughs> Not gonna say a name. She still loves you. I don't know if that means... Is she still about in one timeline? Or is she here in this timeline somehow? Okay. Um... 86 slash 87? Because... 54 has the grate at the entrance. This looks like it could even be 1921. Dass meine Oma damit was zu tun hat, dass Jonas zurückkommt und Jonas? Das Jonas kommt zurück. Yeah, it's still about. Ich gehe jetzt nach Hause. <laughs> <laughs> Not your home at this point. I wouldn't leave him on his own though, because he could abandon them here. Michelle! Okay, they're both not out here. They're not going to attempt to return to 2019, are they? Sofort auf der Wache an. Vielleicht. Weiß ich, wo sie hin wollen. Oh? Where would they be going? To the bunker? To the caves? And they might bump into everyone else. God. Um, has Egon died today? Or is it tomorrow? This, this does look like where everyone came through as well. I come back. I bring you to the house. Oh, but Mikkel might know that that's not just... Yeah, is it Ulrich who's going to kill him? Mikkel might know that that will fuck up the timeline, you know? Mikkel. Michael. Unser Vater. Is not a kleiner Teil eines Knotens. Is Eric guessing up there? Who is that mystery? There's a woman at the top right I didn't recognize. Aber wenn das stimmt, wenn es einen Weg gibt, 
Warum passiert dann alles so, wie es immer passiert ist? Warum habt ihr nichts verändert? Can this version not time travel anymore because he's so damaged? Du hast die Passage gesehen. Den Bunker. Den Stuhl. Den Apparat. Das Ding in der Zukunft. All of the blueprints. Das ist noch nicht das Ende der Kette. Something new is being built. Oh, it's the power plant, that new thing. Was ist das? Wenn es das ist, was ich denke, dann wird es unser Verständnis von der Welt grundlegend verändern. <lacht> yeah. Okay, yeah, this looks like um, 87. This will be their first evidence. This music and again, this is a great track. Yeah, the old police cars. Oh my God. <laughs> they obviously they have no idea. Go and see Mikkel, come on. Dad's just been here now, brother and sister as well. Yeah, that fold tells everything that needs to be said. Hast du Papa überhaupt geliebt? Hmm. Or was it always just Ulrich? Du brauchst niemanden. Du brauchst nur dich selbst. I thought he might say you deserve no one. Here we go, another great montage. Okay, they returned pretty quick then. And the chair is there. Yeah, it seems the setup is that Ulrich kills Egon, but maybe it could be something else that could be a misdirect. Who is the mother then, though? She's still around somewhere, it seems like, from the way that Noah said it. What is she getting up to with these tablets? I don't quite understand. He's giving them to Mikkel, but is that just to help him sleep? Is he not sleeping properly because of obviously everything he's been through? See, now the kids all know. And that's that hint that he's still around. Okay, even more advanced time machine. Tesla coil. Es ist nicht dasselbe wie das in der Zukunft. Es ist sozusagen sein Zwilling. Or is there a third one? Don't think of things in pairs. Endlichsten Namen gegeben. Äther. Schwarze Materie. Higgsfeld. Yeah, it's the Higgsfield. Das in der Zukunft durch die Katastrophe in zwei Tagen, die du unbedingt verhindern willst. Yeah, so if he stops the apocalypse, this will never exist. And then how could he time travel? Es durchbricht den 33 Jahre Zyklus. This doesn't abide to the 33 year rule. Die Frage ist nur, wann ist der Anfang? Und welches Opfer? Stop Michael's suicide. That is the very beginning of the show. Der Tag, bevor alles passiert ist. Bevor Papa sich das Leben genommen hat. So he's gonna get to see his dad again? Mikkel wird nicht zurückreisen. Yeah, yeah. Is that truly the start of it all? Ich. Wir werden nicht geboren. But you're erasing yourself from existence by doing that. Alle anderen werden leben. Or this version of you. Martha wird leben. Okay. So she's bound to die at some point. I love the aesthetic of this version of the time machine. Yeah, very much of the, like a Tesla coil and like it's kind of steampunky, you know. <sighs> I 
Did we see someone wearing that in episode one? Did we see this version of Jonas? Schaffst. Sortieren wir die Welt neu. This feels like, you know, almost the penultimate episode and the next would be the end of the season, but we, there's still quite a few episodes to go. So it's gonna take him some time to stop that if he if he does. Uh, is that tears in Adam's eyes or is that just because of his injuries, you know? But this was, like the stranger said, that might have all been a lie. Okay, so that was episode five. It just feels like it's bombshell after bombshell every episode. Even this episode is like multiple in one episode. It's not just like there's one big moment for the episode. It's just like hit after hit after hit. You know what I mean? So first one I want to hit on Noah being Charlotte's father. Um, kind of predicted that at the start. <laughs> the, the casting in this show is just so amazing. Um, I know that the casting director had recently passed away, which is a real shame, but she did an amazing job here, you know. You can just clock on little details, like Charlotte's got a quite sharp jawline and so does Noah. Is there a possibility? And yes, there is. And that is just bonkers to me how accurately that they can do that. I feel like if you had the time, you could just sit down, analyze the features of every character and like draw some conclusions from that, you know? There probably are some characters you can do that for, you know? I had thought at one point that maybe Bartosz and Noah are related because they have similar jawlines. I at one point thought they were the same person. Of course, um, it's the distinctive bright blue eyes that Noah has that put me off of that theory because um, Bartosz's eyes are like brown, black, you know, but Noah has these really bright blue eyes. So I feel like I'm trying to think of like what Charlotte's eyes are like. They're quite blue as well. So it's just like any characters that have really bright eyes, they could be related to Noah, you know, if we see someone, um, who is like very old but has these bright blue eyes that could be like an older version of Noah, you know? Liz is so good at being able to like make these deductions and have these visual similarities between the actors. And, you know, it's one thing to find people that look alike, but also for them to all be so good at acting as well, you know? you It's the talent behind it also along with the visual similarities. So we learned that Noah is Charlotte's father, but we haven't learned who the mother is. I don't have any theories on it at the moment, but from what Noah was saying, it sounds like whoever it is is still alive. At this point, anyone is a possibility to me. Um, the only people who aren't a possibility would be Agnes because she's Noah's brother and, you know, that's a bit incesty. I guess technically it could still be possible um, because I had theorized that Noah was Trant's son because Trant's father was out of the picture. But um, I, I feel like I'm pretty confident in ruling Agnes out, but like literally anyone else who is a woman, I can um, maybe not Bernadette as well because obviously she can't birth someone but yeah like literally anyone else I feel like it could be you know it could even be Charlotte herself and there's this weird like paradox where she births herself somehow you know what I mean then anything is on the table at this point I feel like I'm not exactly sure how the biology of that would work because you know you take parts of the father and parts of um the mother and then it creates a child how could that be exactly the same as the mother exactly the same dna i i mean like that wouldn't work biologically i don't know how much the show would like adhere to that but if they wanted that twist i guess it could happen you know i also had the theory that we we weren't exactly sure who um helga's dad was at one point and we have seen 
Noah and Helga's mum interact before. So I did have the theory that um, Helga could be the son of Noah. So that would make Helga Charlotte's brother, but also her father-in-law as well, which is a weird relation, you know. The relations, they're all so messed up at this point anyway. You know, you have Jonas dating his own um, aunt and yeah, everything is crazy. You know, Adam describes the time as a knot, but this family tree definitely does feel like a knot as well, doesn't it? So at the end, we had Adam giving Jonas this loophole which um, from what the stranger has said, this is all just like a ruse, a lie. So I do wonder where he will show up. You know, Adam said this will break the 33 year rule and will take you just before your father commits suicide so you can save him and that will stop everything from happening, you know. But that seems to all be a lie. Um, so it probably is the case that he still probably is adhering to the 33 year rule and he's going to be thrown out somewhere else. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe get back to 2053. So he's like far in the future. And that is like um, out of sight, out of mind, really in the future. He could just send him somewhere crazy because the time machine, like when it's the box, it's almost like you got the 33 year rule. But it's not like you jump 33 years at a time because when you step into the Higgs field like he did in 53, in 2053, he jumped all the way back to 1921. So this could take him anywhere. It just depends if it adheres to this 33 year rule. But that is a rule we haven't seen broken yet, you know. And, you know, we've seen the stranger say everything is happening as it's supposed to. Everything will happen as it always has. We saw that in, I think, two episodes ago, he said that. So, you know, that is just the stranger maybe reminiscing on this and saying, like, things can't be changed, even if Jonas is going to try and change things here, depending on where he gets thrown out. And Adam said, you know, you can stop um, everything from happening. And I'm trying to think if stopping Michael's death would actually do that, and I feel like it would because I'm just not sure if if Michael died, what was the reason they went into the caves, you know? Adam said, stop Michael from dying, then Michael will never travel into the past. But that's not necessarily the case. If Michael was still around, would they have gone to the cave anyway? Because they went to the cave because of everything that was happening with Eric, wasn't it? They thought Eric had this stash. So that would still happen. I'm not I'm not sure if actually stopping Michael's death would actually cause any of that to happen, but of course there's kind of like the butterfly effect that um Michael's death never happened, so Jonas was never there when they went to the cave and then that changed somehow and then Michael never actually went into the tunnel. But, like, his death didn't directly cause Mikkel to go into the tunnel. Mikkel going to the, into the tunnel definitely causes much more because that then causes Ulrich to go back. And Ulrich going back, leaving the phone, is what Tanhouse uses to create the time machine. So, like, stopping Mikkel going into the cave would stop everything from happening, I think. That does seem like one of the points that you could stop and it would stop everything else. Um, and that is almost like the start, but then if he never did that, Michael would never show up. So it would create a paradox because even if Michael dying stops Michael going to the cave, then he'd never go into the cave and become Michael. So that's a grandfather paradox. So that would never happen but also it would be erasing the Jonas that stops Michael from killing himself. It would erase that version of Jonas, the version of Jonas we've been following from existence because Michael slash Michael never went back and never had Jonas. So none of this would actually work. And it really, I guess it depends on how the show will handle paradoxes because we haven't really seen 
a paradox being handled like that from memory. Um, there's a chance that there's been paradoxes off screen and, you know, in the past, past to do with Adam. But if Jonas manages to stop Michael, I'm not sure. Um, it just seems too good to be true. I would really love a scene between the two, but, you know, we haven't seen this 33-year rule broken yet, and I don't know if we will, but this definitely does seem like a more advanced time machine that Adam has here, and I really love the design of it too. So we started the episode with um, this sex scene again, but this time it was the stranger seeing it, and then we're seeing the Higgs field kind of coming out of Martha. She's like corrupted almost and maybe dies um you know we see adam say that to Jonas as well maybe you could save martha as well and i for some reason the you know we've seen all the people that die in the apocalypse but for some reason i always forget the exact characters that do but martha was I think part of the characters that do die in the apocalypse. So Jonas did know a little bit that, or did know that she would die eventually in the apocalypse. Um, so, you know, when he said, you can say Martha, I thought that might've been like a little bit of a manipulation tactic. Well, it is a manipulation tactic, but like he was like dropping that bomb that Martha might die. But I think Jonas does actually know that Martha might die or does die in the apocalypse. But like this, paradox that he's going to cause potentially is a way that it would stop the apocalypse because it would just stop everything altogether and i was wondering how this ties into you know adam's plan adam's ideology we learn a bit more about that there how he actually hates god and hates time because of how restrictive time is and then he wants a world without time and like what does that even mean but it could be the case that he is actually purposely setting Jonas up to cause this paradox because this I guess a paradox like that could completely mess up time and therefore time stops existing in some way or time splinters into like multiple timelines um, so that could actually tie into his goals a little bit, depending on like how the paradox works and is handled by the kind of time travel ideology that the show takes. So then we still have, you know, these two groups, the adults and the kids. The kids have the time machine and they were so close there for them to like join together and then there's like the potential of Katerina coming back with them you know she has the evidence that um Mikkel time traveled now the kids know that time travel is definitely possible because they've done it but like imagine if she went back with them as well there was that opportunity if they'd actually just talked there but because of her previous actions Martha doesn't trust her but that would have been really interesting if you know when Auric looked out the window and saw his own kids if he's if he had seen her there as well, that would have been bonkers. And then, like, for Mikkel to potentially meet his mum and dad on the same day like that, that's crazy as well. Um, I just really wonder what's up with Mikkel now. Like, how is this affecting him? That could just completely, like, mess him up because now, like, he he knows like the fate of his dad and he's seen his dad age like that but then we know that he doesn't really do any time traveling or as far as we're aware because you know he came in through the tunnels right he just crawled through the tunnel so he must know the tunnels are the medium so like i feel like it would be quite simple for him to just crawl through back to either 53 or 2020 i guess it would be at this point it'd be 54 and 2020 but like i don't know maybe he realizes he doesn't want to mess up the timelines like i feel like there is the possibility there for that but he just doesn't as far as we're aware though like he could have been hopping about all of this time without us knowing you know especially when especially when he's a bit older as michael you know because he obviously knows that the time travel exists, but maybe he just 
wants that simple life with Inez now, you know? So, of course, we have that amazing moment with Auric and Mikkel reuniting. Um, and then, like, you know, we have that father-son reuniting there, but there's also this potential that Jonas could be reuniting with Mikkel as well, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of reuniting with Mikkel, but that moment was just amazing. Just like the potential of it happening has been there. And then as soon as I see Mikkel there, I already start to get teary eyed. And then it, why would it cut away to something else? You know, it does eventually come back pretty quick, but I do wish it had held on that moment longer, that emotional moment. But the show has so much to cover as well. It does, you know, jump between things a lot. I think. It, if it had held on that moment any longer and made it any more more emotional, it just would have broke down. Um, I had some tears in my eyes, but, you know, there's nothing, like, running. It wasn't, like, super bad. But if Jonas does meet Michael, I don't know how that will be for me. Um, but, yeah, Ulrich is one of my favourite characters. So to see him there meeting his son again that was just amazing and you know i was really attached to um the actor who plays young auric not like 2019 auric um and it's crazy how you know this is a completely different actor who is playing this version of auric and it just feels so much like the same character that I just completely believe it, you know? It's not like, oh, this moment doesn't have as much impact because it's not the same Auric. It feels like the same Auric, you know? Again, casting, acting, phenomenal. To be honest, there's not much to really say about that moment. It's just a nice moment. It doesn't have much kind of implications for the bigger plot. Maybe, um, you know, it does later on when they are both trying to escape back to 2019. Obviously, they get stopped by the police and by Egon. And then Ulrich says, I'm going to kill you. But that might be too obvious. That might be a bit of a red flag. That might be a false flag. That might be something to throw us off. And it's actually something else that gets to Egon. But I feel like that's not above... Ulrich at this point, we've seen him resort to violence over and over again to get to his son. Of course, it's your son. You're going to do anything for your son, aren't you? But yeah, like, I could see Ulrich actually doing that. And, you know, he's had bad blood with Egon for years, for his entire life. I was surprised that the kids, I'm just referring to that group as the kids, that they just kind of left Bartosz. You know, they had him tied up and questioned him, of course. And then he showed them, you know, time travel exists. Here's the past. Um, they had that quick interaction with Ulrich or Ulrich saw them. They didn't recognize him. And then they came back. I mean, it's kind of good that they came back quick. Obviously, you don't interfere too much. Butterfly effect and all that. But I'm surprised they just abandoned Bartosz. They didn't tie him back up. Like, what will Bartosz do now? He could just go to Adam or go to Noah and Noah will come to him and say, hey, I've lost a time machine. The kids have it. You know, I'm surprised they just let him go. I thought they'd tie him back up, question him even more, but they've just kind of abandoned him there at the cave. You know, part of me is still thinking Noah and Adam, they knew so much of the future. Was this whole thing set up here? And they knew it was going to happen. And it was already predestined. So, you know, Noah will show up and say, hey, sorry, you had to go through this, but it was for the greater good. It was for our timeline. But of course, now Noah is questioning Adam and Noah has turned on Adam, it seems. Um... So we could be getting a Noah and Stranger pair up, but it really depends what is going on in the Stranger's head at this point. I think the Stranger pre-season finale of season one would have worked with Noah potentially, you know, if there wasn't too much bad blood because they have like a similar goal now. But it seems like the Stranger, if he's on this path to becoming Adam at this point because we know he's keeping a lot of things secret then it's still noah versus the stranger um, but noah is actually on 
the side of stopping Adam now, which is very interesting because he knows that Adam knew all along that Charlotte was still out there, I guess. Charlotte was in this timeline right underneath his nose. I'm surprised he didn't know that, you know. I thought he was almost not omnipotent, but because he knows things from different timelines, he would have known that Charlotte was here. So I'm also just thinking in terms of like families and family names. So Charlotte took the Doppler from Peter and Helga. So, you know, she's Charlotte Doppler, but what was her maiden name? I don't think we ever knew. So we don't know what Noah's surname is because um, it could be Nielsen because Agnes could have reverted back to Nielsen after leaving her partner that she had with Trant. But I feel like that's 1953 and maybe she would have kept that surname. So whoever um, Trant's father is would be a Nielsen. And then there's some questions there, like, could that be someone we know? Like, I made the assumption that Noah was a Nielsen, but there's the possibility that that is the name that Agnes took and Noah is, we, we don't have a surname for, and therefore we don't have a surname for Charlotte. Um, maybe her maiden name was Tanhouse and she took on the Tanhouse name, but yeah, we don't have like a maiden name for her or for Noah. And that does leave the mystery. Like, could it be someone we know? Could it be Carnwald or something along those lines, you know? So I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, consider leaving a like or a comment. If you really loved it, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all the future uploads. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.